Hello and welcome to this week's Monday Mail and Magazines. We got a little bit of mail, of course a magazine, and a couple of stash ads. So let's uh, get through the stash ads. This is actually a stash replacement as I had uh, was in the middle of trading one away for a couple of 55 Chevys. So this is a, a stash replacement. But this one is the newly re-released uh modified stocker hauler and truck uh we get a 53 ford pickup trailer and accessories ready for your race car so there's no no car involved just what's in red there but uh nice kit had to make sure i got one picked up right away i'll likely pick up another one if i see one those are these are both uh hobby lobby pickups so the 40 percent off even though all the pricing is going up, it's still as good as it gets, I think, for any kind of new kits. But if you guys want to see inside of this one, look forward to, say, Wednesday, Thursday-ish, and I will do a before you buy on it. Uh, box opening, we'll take a look at everything inside. We'll check out that whole parts list and the decals, everything going on inside there. It's a heavy full kit, so look forward to that. And getting onto the mail... We have Craig over at Craig's Corner. Uh, got his card in. Uh, we had to go Dutch on the shipping, <laughs> which is uh, uh, definitely different, but uh, appreciate it anyways. If you haven't checked out Craig's channel, I'm sure you have if you're on my channel, because he just he just clips the 1,000 sub mark, and that just proves that he's got a lot of good stuff going on. So make sure to check out Craig over at Craig's Corner. And getting on to the magazine... We have Rod and Customs, a May 1965 issue. We have an Autorama special. This is Winfield's latest custom creation. And we have Cars and Models. We have a Dick Patty interview, streamlining, Fred Lorenz's Ford full cutaway drawing, Hobby Show new goodies for modelers, Build a Boat Tail Doozy, Famous Car Stories, The Bentley. More show and go for K and B's Cobra. So let's get into her. Should be a good episode. And we got a nice little AMT ad there. Big old trophy. Now uh, we got a, some slot car controllers. Uh, monogram slot car ad. Couple of readers' rights. I don't know if you guys are reading them, but I will try to pan through them. Let you pause and read if you need to. I'll catch up on that continued section. Auto Mart. Brand new Quadrajet carburetor. Uh, car news. Here's the continued part of the reader's rights. And a little bit more. And we've got an ad here for Hawk. We got the Wild Woody for a dollar, or the Digger, the Way Out Dragster for a dollar. Nice little ad there. A bench section. With the brand new Triumph Motorcycle ad. A little comic for you. Guys, got the loose steering wheel. You always find something to complain about, don't you? I mean, that's yeah, getting picky, I suppose, to have a steering wheel. And here is custom builder Gene Winfield and stylist Ben Delphia took a hard look at the world of tomorrow and came up with this futuristic Autorama special. And it looks like it's packing a turbo Corvair engine. Kind of a sleek wedge shape. 
pretty nice. Nice styling. Flip back to the color to give you a look at it in color. Pretty color on there. Spare time 39. We got a 39 Chevy here. We'll look under the hood. It's a 58 Chevy V8. Those skinny little cheater slicks. Nice interior. Good look on 39. You can do yourself one up in a monogram version if you want. <clears throat> Lost and Found in a Children's Playground by Steve Miller, who did what any good router would do. Look there. Nice little Ford with the spindle mount fronts on it. And a small block Chevy. Got a weird crease in it, but it looks like it's a yep, Rochester fuel injected Chevy. Streamlining. Brute horsepower isn't always the route to more speed. Here's how to put aerodynamics to work for you. Oh, this is kind of salt flats. Streamlining. Give you kind of a breakdown. Show you how they do some wind tunnel testing. Talking about different versions there. The old tankers and Big old streamliners. Chop top duty. Give you that one up in a kit form. Pretty cool. And we got some more big streamliners. Yeah, little dragster. Showing the doing some arrow testing with the yarn. Looks like that might have started out as a Studebaker or something. All sorts of different takes. More yarn testing. Here is uh, ink testing. Looks like that's on a scale model. Showing different dead zones. Low pressure areas, dig tourings, there's a open touring, well, I guess it's got a add on top, nice little cruiser, small block Chevy, just a good little, good little rig there, him. Wrecked, restored, raced, and finally customized, Roger Ryan's 1957 Chevy is now the people's choice. So we got the Canada headlights, got a louvered hood, little bar grill there. Looks like he's got a lot of chrome underneath. Good looking interior. He's got some uh, them DeSotos or Chrysler taillights added in. Unique. An interview with Dick Petty, NASCAR's 1964 Grand National Champion. Dick Petty gives us an inside look at stock car racing and his new Hemi Barracuda. This is a cool article, especially for Petty fans. And uh, any kind of race fans. There's that uh, Hemi Cuda, early early Cuda. That is a cool car. Kind of a a short-lived car, if I remember right. I think there's a couple of uh, 
major accidents with this one. There's a Q&A if anybody wants to read that. more of the, the Q and A. Kind of some uh, unique photos here. That's a cool car and Continuing on with the Q&A article. That would be a cool build. That Barracuda. Uh, we got a Model T pickup. Tony Ziggert's T pickup was one of the first in his area and we think it's one of the Milwaukee's finest. We got a wood dash. Nice look. We got a injected Corvette engine. More on the next page. Yeah, there's a good look at a uh, very unique suspension setup. Shots. There we go. We got a nice color photo of that injected small block. Color photo of the car. And here we got a little nice little Fiat. Build you one of those out of Atlantis's uh, Keeler's Custom, I believe. Should be real similar. Cool scoop on there. And we got a flip top. So Twelve spoke spindle mounts. Cool wheels. Some good shots of the Fiat Agogo. And mechanic series. We're going to talk about some spark plugs. Reading spark plugs. And here's for NASCAR guys. If you guys want an inside look, what's under a stalker skin? Here are photos and a cutaway of Fred Lorenzo's 65 Ford. To show what it takes to make a successful racing car. Be some good uh, shots for you if you want to do a replica or just take notes for some someone else's stock car of the day. Still got the battery up front there. And here we got some. Nice rear suspension photographed. See some of the brake ducting. And here's the other side with some showing the twin shocks. Here we have some more air ducting. Shot of those tires. More nice photographs. It's something for uh, Mr. Badson to do. Nice uh, cutaway drawing. Look at everything there. Pretty cool, just the artwork in itself. And yeah, moving on to famous car stories, we have the Bentley. Nice looking cars. Q 
KMB Cobra treat this reptile with respect. Ferrari has also felt its fangs. I'm going to select car. Cobra. Colored shot. The care and feeding of snakes. I see what you did there. Nice colorful layout of a, of a track. A Tom Thumbs Family Racing Center in Panoma, Panorama City, California. This is a fun place to hang out. Scale model drag racing. Some Fiats, some rails. Kind of a cool looking uh, tea bucket rail. Uh, here's our Tom Thumb Hobby Center. That looks like a huge place. Take a stroll through Tom Thumb. Track. Nice little stools for everyone to sit on. Got some chairs. Looks like a fun place to hang out. Build a boat tail doozy. Classics can be customized. Here's how to splice Pyro's Auburn to Monogram's Duesenberg and come up with an exciting short wheelbase speedster. That is a unique concept. Looks like we have an actual photo of a car here. And a little how, how to step by step, making this unique little boat tail. Looks like we'll get more on the body next week or next month, however you want to say. Chicago Hobby Show leading manufacturers display. Their latest model car kits and accessories, tempting auto modelers in 1965. And first up is MPC. We have Gangbusters number two. It is Big Al's cruising car, a 27 Lincoln Roadster, figures included. And here is the 32 Chrysler LeBaron convertible. There's another soon to be released Gangbuster kit, so that's not even out yet. We got, uh, looks like a slot car. And hot, hot curls 29 Ford Woody is too much, and boss to boot all the goodies for a dollar 49. Don't know that I've ever seen that that kit before. Here we have a Renwall, uh, a Mercer, interesting looking car. Exacto's yeah, got a race and tool kit, nice little. Boxer, adaptable to slot racing. The 56 Chevy above is primarily a static kit. Ravel promises three others, including a 29 Ford pickup, a 112 scale Surfite, and a drag bike in one eighth. Don't think I've ever seen that Surfite in one twelfth scale. I don't think that one's ever been done, actually. Let me know if you've ever seen one. In addition to a new and larger 132nd scale home racing sets, Revell offers two 124 scale racers with more on the way. The Porsche and the Lotus 23 above both use potent SP510X. Beautiful 4GT is offered in 120th scale gas powered or 132nd and 124th versions. And moving on to AMT. 132nd scale slot racers from AMT top left have clear bodies and Maybuchi motors. Top right, the magnificent 37 cord, 812 and 112 scale with working steering, headlight doors, and windows. 
above left and right typical of the many good things in store for the auto modeler by amt are these two 125th scale items the 55 nomad the wampin wagon which is soon to hit the shelves again in a re-release and the 53 stude which has been released several times as well got strombecker slot car stuff imc Several body styles available in these great Bud Anderson 132nd scale NASCAR slot racers. Tough nylon chassis have Mabuchi power plant. Cars are pre-assembled and tested. Manta Ray. Unique car. All rich new mini men are made of rubber based plastic with no joints to cover or hide. Wilson slot car motor. Lesney miniatures. 64 Impala there. And he looks like a Aston and a Lotus maybe. Aurora. Several kits. The, the Carl Casper's Ghost. That's the the rod and not the drag car. Name Hubley, Hubley's Duesenberg monogram. Monogram's big jag is now to be joined by this big stingray, a beauty. Ultra fine detail Rolls Royce. Futurista by Daryl Starbird is subject of this wild model monogram. I don't know that I've seen that that kit either. Interesting. Fiat drag machine, the 112 Fiat drag by Lindbergh. That would be a cool kit to have. And Hot Hawk, we have the Frantics and that uh, Woody, Surfer Woody. We have that. Build a Dream HO track. This is continued from last week. Last month, showing how to make all the hills. Use Monogram's Blue Beetle kit for a base. Add a Ford 427 and parts from Ravel's Outlaw, and you'll have a neat A Roadster pickup. Kind of a neat, nice little how to here. Written by Jim Keeler. That's a Kind of a well-known name, if you will. I mentioned the, the Keeler Custom earlier. That Roth uh, Custom Metal Flake can would be cool to collect. Pretty nice build there. And we have some uh, slot car rail stuff. Model Rama Q and A. Of course, we'll pan through these. Pause, rewind, fast forward. Do what you need to do. Got some uh, monster art. Might as well look at. Pretty cool. More model racing Q and A. Scratch builders Q and A. And the scat tack that uh, Royal Pontiac ad again, which is cool. Uh, continued model Rama QA. Yeah. 
LM speed pro. Yeah, dual quads for 118 bucks. I wish. Model cars, new 1965 magazine. Release fiberglass front, arc welder, and precision wheels. And we got uh, Hot Rod Magazine ad. Championship drag races. Riverside. Little model racing continued. And we got a little comic here. Oh, I think somebody's causing too many wrecks. And our final comic, full full comic. Uh, little Ravel Porsche and there it is that does it for this week's Monday Mill remember to check out Craig if you haven't already for whatever reason and there's our stash ads remember there will be a box opening on this later in the week midweek-ish and that'll do it for this week thanks for watching